Hey guys, welcome back to Not From Here. I hope you guys are doing well. I know I said uh, that this week it would be a continuation kind of of last week's episode. Um, but a lot has been going on in the news and I thought it, was, it would be good if I touched base on it. And what I'm talking about specifically is the Mahsa Amini situation. Um, first of all, Mahsa is a Iranian girl that passed away, Allah Yarhama. Uh, may, sh- may her soul uh, rest in peace It's always tragic when uh, we lose young individuals Especially in our communities It's it's sad to hear about For those of you who don't know Mahsa is 22 years old She was visiting Tehran She was detained by the morality police Because she was The wording is She was wearing her headscarf Which is her hijab uh, un- Unproperly Or improperly So here there's two stories, a story that says that she was beaten by the morality police while on her way to the police station and there's a picture of her in the hospital that shows her bruised up and then there's another story that says that she just had a medical condition, she slipped and fell and there's a video of her in the police station that I watched that she just fell and no one, like no one touched her. So two very conflicting stories but we're not here to talk about which one is like which one is the truth because i like from all the research i did there is nothing clear yet um so waiting on that what i want to talk about is what happened after her death after she passed away people started protesting they started taking off their hijabs they started burning them they started cutting their hair Um, They started uh, burning Islamic flags Um, It happened in Like these protests weren't just exclusive to Iran A bunch of other countries also held protests um, In front of the Iranian embassy or whatever And I just want to point something out here Is that these protesters They're protesting because They heard on the news That this young lady was brutally beat to death By the morality police uh, by the way, people who don't know what the morality police are, morality police are basically just a subgroup of the police, and they they make sure everyone is abiding by Islamic law. And you'll see these, like you'll see the morality police, and Islamic countries. Some of them, uh, I saw that there was in Iran for sure because we're talking about it. There is in Saudi Arabia. And there's in Malaysia. Um, those are the ones that I found. But yeah, but that's basically what they do. Um, back to our point is when these protesters hear something like that, of course they're going to be outraged. Of course they have the right to protest and they should protest. When someone dies like that, you can't, not, you can't just sit at home and not go defend their right. Not arguing that. But the way these protests are happening, they're burning the they're burning their hijabs, they're burning their headscarves, and my thought process is like that headscarf is the flag of Islam, like we like in the Middle East or wherever there's Muslims, you walk around. The way to identify if someone is Muslim or not. It's through that hijab Like a guy you, You'd have a guess But you wouldn't be able You wouldn't be 100% sure If that guy was Muslim or not But the girl I mean it's super obvious She has a headscarf on She has a hijab on That's that's the flag That's the representation You know If Islam would To have an official flag That would be it The, the headscarf of the woman so burning the flag of Islam is, isn't right, you know. There's 1.8 billion Muslims on the planet. And that flag represents all of us, you know. Let's just say for the sake of this conversation that she was actually beaten to death by the morality police. Just for the sake of this conversation. Of course there should be protests. Of course these guys... Of course, the the guys who killed her have to have the most gruesome consequences in the whole world. But to burn the representation of Islam 
in a way where you're protesting the the murder of this girl it's it it doesn't make sense it's crazy to to even talk about and we see that with every single protest that happens right whether it was after the George Floyd killing when people started breaking into places and looting that was taking the protest way too far no one no one ever said anything about why people should protest for black lives everyone was standing with that but when people started looting then they were like okay we need to stop this and it happens what happened back in Lebanon people started breaking like breaking people's stores and they were like okay protest against the government we all should but don't ruin these people's lives like their livelihoods and same with here protest but don't burn the representation of these 1.8 billion people now the second part that caught my eye was the media's attention to that part of the world the western media attention to that part of the world and what's happening there so real quick i just want to say the, the names of these media outlets that come up on google that are talking about it after you just type in Mahsa amini and it's cnn usa today time variety fox vox the washington post nbc bbc and so many more uh, you can't count how how much western media attention is on this like is, is on this specific situation and what's funny to me is all of these like all of this attention is happening and the way they're talking about it is in a way they're trying to protect these women like they want these women to have their rights they want these muslims to be able to express themselves like they care so much for this part of the world and how people are treated there and what what burns my blood is a lot of people from our communities resharing these um, like these media outlets is, is stories and their their headlines and it's crazy to me because these same media outlets are the ones that don't like they don't say anything when Israelis beat up Palestinian women and take off their headscarves while they're beating them up and when Israelis kill Palestinian children no one talks about that no one no one mentions it these all these media outlets that care so much for how women are oppressed and and how everyone should feel free to to express not one word another thing that's so funny is that france i just saw a video of um, a protest in france and how people were going crazy that this happened in iran and whatever a couple years back in France, they banned hijab in schools. A, a Muslim woman that was wearing a headscarf outside of school had to take it off in school or she wasn't admitted in. But that is civil. When France does it, it's civil, you know? And we don't hear anyone talk about it. All the protests that happen, you don't hear a beep from them. It only happens when, obviously, like... It's so crazy that this is like still something that we we don't understand when there is a political push or a political agenda and obviously the west and iran everyone knows that there is something there the like they have motives to um, to push this story right so just be aware that these channels and these outlets aren't uh, all of a sudden like caring and and have all this love for Muslim women that are oppressed, they could care less about us and what we have to say or how we feel or how we are oppressed. It's, it's all backed by political interests and what they want to do over there. I just seen uh, people that said that the U.S. should invade Iran f just f because of the women media is shaping this culture if the media says that the u.s cares about the women in iran and how they want them to express themselves then that's what's going to happen if we share those posts that's 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 going to that's going to start becoming the truth but the truth is america does not care about the women in iran and just like 
France doesn't care or anyone cares. I also saw a video of uh, Jake Paul saying that. What did he say? Wait, I'll play it right now. Here it is. Listen. Iran growing their hair. It's savagery. It's, it's horrific. It's, it's medieval. Uh, it's not who we are as a society. Okay, but it's, it, Israelis that beat up kids and women and what's happening in Yemen, that's what, what is that civil? Is that not medieval and that's not savagery? You know, it's, it's just... A, I'm not arguing that if that young lady died from brutality, that that's something that's horrific. Of course it is. But this double standard of the media just picking and choosing what they want for their own personal needs is so annoying. It, it's harming those communities where people are actually getting hurt and no one is talking about them. Thank you guys for listening. I hope that we actually get the truth soon from what happened to Mahsa. And... Again, this is very tragic and it's very sad. But as we as we are sad because of what happened to that young lady, we have to stay aware that to get the truth for ourselves, to know what happened, and to just know that there is no world where this Western media cares about that part of the world. Because... It's not fair to all those people in Palestine that are dying every day, that all those people that, in, that are in Yemen that are dying every day, that get no media coverage whatsoever. It's just not fair. Thank you guys. Assalamu alaikum.